Hey everyone, so it's almost time for Christmas and I've been out on a little gift hunt to help you guys out with those tricky stocking stuffer decisions. So I've come up with Hair Loss Honey's 12 Days of Christmas series where I will be trialing inexpensive, under $15 gift ideas every day for the next 12 days. So these stocking stuffers could be for your friend, for a loved one who may experience hair loss or have an autoimmune disorder, or they could be for yourself. Just ask someone else to get them for you. So I just wanted to put a disclaimer up front that I have purchased all of these products from my local TK Maxx with my own money. So the review of these items are my own personal opinion. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Okay, so enough with the intro and let's get started with Hair Loss Honey's 12 Days of Christmas Day. So with someone with no bio lashes due to my autoimmune disorder, applying them can sometimes be a bit of an arduous task. Using nail scissors to trim them down and usually the ones that I steal from my husband. Using those really sharp pointy tweezers aimed at my eyeball. I mean, this all sounds like torture. But what if we could make eyelash application a little less dangerous? So I bring you gift idea number five, which is the Up Up and Away Lash Application Kit from the Vintage Cosmetic Company. So this cute vintage floral set has all the tools you need for a perfectly applied lash without the threat of bodily harm. So what's inserted in this set are some eyelash trimming scissors, the eyelash tweezers, which are actually bent and they're not pointy like your normal um, eyebrow tweezers, and it has a spoolie. So the price of this, unfortunately, it didn't have a tag on it and we had to scan it from the barcode in store, so it was $8.99. I went on a bit of a hunt to find the actual price of this on the, um, the website, the Vintage Cosmetics website, and I couldn't find the set, but the other sets were priced around £12, so in Australian dollars, it's about $22, so that's half price, which is a really good deal. Okay, so let's try these out. So I haven't worn any eyelashes today to demonstrate how to use a lash kit. So I'll actually try and take them out of the kit themselves. So the scissors are stainless steel. They're heavy, they're quite sturdy, they're a little bit stiff, but I'm sure that they will work really well when I try to cut my lashes. The tweezers, when you take them out of the pack, they have a little rubber closure on the ends. So. Yeah, they close quite nicely, as you can see. Um, there's no gaps or anything like that. So these are essentially the shape um, that should help apply the lash to your lid. So I'm really looking forward to trying these. I've actually never tried tweezers like these before. I just use my eyebrow tweezers and again, try not to poke my eyes with them. So yeah, this is going to be quite um, a fun little experiment. And the last thing that's in the kit is actually the spoolie. So I don't use spoolies on my eyelashes because essentially if you have bio lashes, you can use these to blend your um, false lashes in with your bio lashes. So essentially how I use these are when I'm cleaning my lashes, I actually dip them in a bowl of micellar water and once I have taken my lashes out, I'll roll them over my finger and use this to actually brush the product out of the lashes. So any eyeliner that's gone on, any lash glue. So yeah, I find it's really convenient. So the lashes I'm actually gonna try on today are my unicorn lashes. So I have purchased backups of these. So they're fresh out of the pack um, and I can demonstrate how I trim them, trim them as well. I'm gonna first um, pin my hair back because it is going in my eyes. So, okay, so I've pulled out my left lash. So what you need to do first is measure your lash against your eyelid. Um, I know that these lashes are significantly bigger than my eyelid space, and I kind of know usually how much I need to cut off, but I would recommend that before you even put on any makeup, you measure the lash against your eye. So starting with the inner corner, depending how far you want to go in, measure it against your eyelid, and once you've done that, you can determine, I try and mark with my finger as I'm grabbing it. So I, I usually cut off about that arch. 
so just the end and you can keep trimming it so it's best to trim a little bit as you go just so you, you're sure that um, you've trimmed enough and you've not over trimmed your lash so the ideal situation is um, your lash should stop at the end of your eyelid don't go further than that because your lashes if they extend further than your eyelid it makes them look a little bit droopy and you don't want your eyes to look droopy you'll want your lashes to flutter up rather than flutter out and down so yeah i think that's a common mistake that a lot of people do when they first start wearing lashes is extend them past their eyelid and it just makes them look quite droopy so anyway i will bring my eyelash tweezers and my lash so i need to cut on the left of this lash so i'm actually going to hold it upside down because i can't do it on camera correctly so i'll hold it like this and I will cut as much as I think I need to cut initially. So, yeah. So these work really well. They're very sharp. Um, they're a little bit thick, so the blade is thick um, and they cut really well. What I also do is I cut off, there's like a little piece in the front of the lash. I cut that off as well. Just so it lays flat. I have really sensitive eyes and I don't like anything protruding into my eye or my eyelid. So, yes, I will cut that off as well. If one lash comes off, that's fine. Um, but again, measure it against your eye that so you've done a good job. Yeah, I think that's not too bad. Okay, we'll go with that and we'll see how it goes. So I quickly jumped off camera and applied some lash glue onto my eyelid. As I've mentioned in my Get Ready With Me, I actually apply eyelash glue to my eyelid as well for extra adhesive. So I'll um, apply my eyelash glue to the eyelash and be right back. So I'm drying my lashes very quickly and I'm really keen to use this eyelash tool because I've not used this one before. So I think it's done. What I'll do is I will straighten the eyelash a little bit because my no one's eyelid is that curved and I'll use my mirror. So I'm going to come a little bit closer to the camera. Um, and I'll look on the side. So I'm actually used to the eyebrow tweezers to apply lashes. So this is a learning curve for me too. Okay, so far so good. Let's try and apply these. There you go. That was pretty easy. I will try the other lash on camera really quickly too. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? Okay, that was really close and personal, but I wanted to show you guys the lash application with these tweezers. I think these tweezers are actually really good. Um, because they're flat, um, they apply really well to the eyelid and it's easy to manipulate on the eyelid as well. I don't feel like I have a dangerous implement near my eyes because they are dull at the ends. Although, you know, they do have no gap, but they're really dull and easy to, um, to grip between your fingers because they're longer as well. So this is almost the size of my hand. I have a pretty small hand, but yeah, they're quite large. So very easy to use, so I'm really happy with these. So as I mentioned, if you have any bio lashes and you know, you want to blend them in with these, then just brush them in and then apply a coat of mascara or however you do your eye makeup when you apply your lashes. But as I said, I would also use these to, um, to wipe them down when I'm cleaning them with micellar water. You could either apply the micellar water onto onto the spoolie and then brush through your lashes or you could dip your lashes into some micellar water. Let them soak for a minute or so, grab the lashes out and just clean the product off them. So this is actually really useful and um, I would use the back of my eyeshadow brush to do this. So I'm glad I have a separate little tool. So this gift idea is one of the more useful ones for me especially. But I only wish they came with a little carry case because I'm likely to lose at least one of these. So if you're looking for a gift idea for someone who loves some false lashes, then this one's a winner. So thanks for watching my video today and I hope you've enjoyed today's Hair Loss Honey Stocking Stuffer idea. So please don't forget to subscribe down below so that you're notified of all the new episodes that I upload in the 12 day series. 
and like this video to keep me motivated for the next seven days. So thanks again, and I'll see you all soon for day six of this series. Bye. So I'm on.